Hi, I'm Lewis Kikaldi, Product Manager for Synergy Multiviewer, and I'm here in the last of this series of videos to show you what we can do in terms of scalability with Multiviewer. A lot of people ask us how many streams can we run on a box, and our answer to that question is often, well, what kind of stream is it, and what kind of box is it? So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how many streams of HD H.264 we can uh, decode on a couple of machines. So if we turn and look at this station here, what this station is, is a standard i7-6700K CPU. So this is really a gaming computer. Uh, it's got four cores in it with hyper-threading, uh, and we can decode a good number of streams on here, given this is a sub-thousand euro PC. So on this PC, I've got a multiviewer running right now. If we look at this multiviewer that's running in this screen, we've got just a single HD off-air stream. So let's see how much CPU load we're running. So there's a little bit of background noise from the screen recorder that's on here, but we can see we're decoding that HD stream here with quite a lot of available power. So let's bring this up a little bit. Let's go in here and just easily clone this up to six streams. So if I duplicate that five times, we should then rerun, and we're at six streams now. So even though these are the same streams, Multiviewer doesn't know that, and it will decode each and every one time and again. So if we look in here now, we can see the CPU load has risen significantly. So we've got more CPU load, uh, but we're still in quite a comfortable range. So let's see if we can pop three more in here and get nine. So three more, apply. So now we're decoding these, and we can see this is quite a comfortable 80% CPU load. So we can actually get a 3x3 three three split of HD signals here just on a sub-1,000 euro uh, i7 PC uh, with a fair bit of comfortable overhead room there. So, but that's about as far as this box is going to go. We're not going to want to load that up any higher uh, because we're going to start dropping frames and it's going to stop working. Uh, but if we want to go higher, if we need to monitor more, we're going to either need to change the stream specification coming in uh, or we're going to need to change the machine. So it's worth pointing out at this point that an HD stream is worth four SD streams. So this box would very comfortably do 20, 25 SD streams. And if you mix and match that, you'll see that variation in the decoder. Similarly, MPEG-2 is easier than H.264. So the streams we've picked here are about as hard as we can get uh, for decoding. So given that we've done this now on the, this PC, what can we do if we move up to a server? So I'm going to close off this stream here. And then we're going to use a remote access into a server to put a few more on. Right, we now have a remote window into a server. Now, this server is a bit more powerful than the client PC we were using. If we look here at Task Manager, we can see we've got a Xeon E5 2630 V2 chip. It's a middle-of-the-road chip, quite cost-effective. Uh, in actual fact, it's not even the latest ge generation technology. This server is now a couple of years old. But it's dual 8-core. gives us a lot more cores to work on. So we've got Multiviewer set up exactly the same as we had on the client PC with nine streams. So let's start this and then see what this does to the CPU. So this stream will come up, uh, and then we'll see it's decoding the nine HD streams that we had before. So we can see that on this screen here over my shoulder. Uh, and we can see the CPUs are now working at 45%, 43%. So we've still got quite a lot of room on this box, so we can stretch out a fair bit further and see what's happening. So let's straight away jump this up then to our target of 16 streams. So we bring that up to 16 and put the grid at 4 by 4 we hit apply, we should now see a significant increase uh, in the amount of CPU load on this box. So it's going to start it up, and there we go. It started up all 16. So we look at the CPU load, we're at a still quite comfortable 82%. So we've got 16 HD H.264 streams, uh, 50i format, decoding on this box, 78%, 81%. So we've been into this box and tuned its BIOS just a little bit. We want to turn off any of the turbo boosting and the sleep variation. So getting the CPU set correctly in the BIOS, following performance optimization guidelines, similarly on the server, setting it to be a consistent high performance mode, can make sure this works stably. But there's still a little trick we can run with Multiviewer 11 to go. This can bring us a few more CPU savings. So if we pop to the Output tab, we can see we're doing an H.264 stream to this stream screen here. Now, an H.264 HD encode still takes a fair bit of power. So if we pop in here to use the NVIDIA offload H.264 and then hit Apply, Multiview is going to restart, and it's going to offload the rendering of this stream to the GPU itself. So when that CPU starts back up, we'll buy ourselves another good 10 15% savings. So we can see on here now we're down to 70%, uh, which is a really, really nice saving uh, and helps reduce the heat output and the energy usage of that server quite a bit.
So you've now been able to see we can do 16 HD H.264 decodes on a standard server, a couple of years old. Modern processors can bring this up to 24 if you want to buy the more expensive 10 and 12 core CPUs. And it's all just a game of balancing out that CPU load per unit stream. Uh, and similarly, if we sneak some standard definition streams in there, we get a four for one cost offset in the CPU decoding. So thanks for watching this, uh, and thanks for watching this series on Multiview 11.